Alright, so this is your triad lock. And this is basically why this thing is so hard to press, is this spring right here. So oiling over here might help a little bit, but it's not going to do really anything, because here is where your tension is coming from. It's a spring right here. Now, I've seen some people take a file and... Uh, or a bench grinder and grind this spring to weaken the tension um, I'm thinking about something different you still want to keep this angle here where it's engaging I gotta watch out because I got a naked blade you want to keep this angle here but we want to reduce this tension because this lock's not going to give here's your secondary part of the triad lock is this little stud here and cut out but it's basically a back lock so the modification of this piece is where you're going to reduce the pressure required to this you don't want to weaken this up so much that you cause fatigue and cause it to break because if this breaks then your back lock won't lock anymore i don't think it will lock anymore so I'm going to take this out, and I'm thinking about bending bending this piece down just a little bit right here. That would move this engagement up a little bit. I don't know. I'm going to mess with it. Probably mess it up, but I'm going to mess with it see what we do. I think I fixed it. So what I went was just, it had like a big U here. And I just took a pair, two pairs of pliers. One I grabbed down here on the original bin and then i just levered it this way i'm sorry i'm holding it camera with my hand so i can't point as much but yeah it now fits in there and it's a lot easier to press so i just basically took that bend right there out just a little bit made that a little bit more straight it still engages this so i'm gonna put it back together and see how this does well, that fixed it. I mean, and it's a pretty easy fix. If you've ever taken a knife apart before, this one I didn't have to do a whole complete disassembly. Um, but yeah, now this thing is uh, easy, and it's still secure. It's tight. It's not going anywhere. You know, you could probably still hang 300 pounds or whatever the hell they do with this and spine whack it and all that other stuff. Um, but this, you can see, it's just a lot easier to depress. And that's what I needed. So, the theory of oiling this and leaving it at half cock and all that, yeah, good luck on that. Um, oiling right here, like I said, your only friction, this is a pivot point right here. So, oiling up here, this is only going to be if you had friction between the scales or the covers and the and the and the spring. It's this bar back here that I showed when I took it apart. If you straighten that out just a little bit, it'll take the pressure, the upward pressure off of this. And that's all it needs. That's all it needed. So now, I can do this with my Recon 1 that had for years been bothering me with that too tight of it. Now, this is fine. I mean, you can adjust it to whatever tension you want, you know. Like, I, I took that bend out and made it almost straight. But you can leave some more of the bend in, that back tail end bend where it joins into the, uh, the handle here to hold it. And the only tools that were required were a T9 for this a t6 for this i don't know if these were required to come off but i took them off anyway i took off the the grip screws i left this all this in here i left this side here and then i used my little this is the best pry bar it's the um you know the rough rider little thing i got in there once the screws were loose and pry it over here so, if you've got a cold steel that has a, a painful 
um, back lock on. And I remember doing this for probably, you know, like void your warranty or whatever. But it's, uh, it looks like a part that's easy to replace. It's a separate part. So if it breaks or you mess it up, um, don't blame me. But it worked on mine. I'm going to do it on uh, the Voyager also. But I just wanted to let you know that, see, I didn't need two fingers. You really should, now that it's dropped shutty like this, I really should have my finger up here. So that when it drops, it hits up there in the toil area. But yeah, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do to fix uh, if the back lock pressure is too strong on on a triad lock take that little piece of metal out and bend it now the reason why i bent it is because i saw an, another version where the guy um filed the metal off he's filed like half the thickness off of the metal on the bottom well yeah that's going to weaken it but i'd rather do the bend method <laughs> than the filing off method because yeah if if your back lock if that spring completely breaks then yeah this thing will it just won't stay open because there's nothing holding the lock up you know you need a little bit of tension here otherwise it can just gravity can pull it down yeah there you go sorry for dragging us out too long but um yeah i'm really happy with this now i've been carrying this knife it's nice and slender i carry it in my pocket and just now I can fidget with it if I want to. So, hope you find that useful, helpful, interesting, entertaining. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Well, on one final note, if you get it too loose, um, the spring tension too loose on this, this when you shake this, this lock will rattle. Um, so I had it too loose on the original one. So I tighten it back up. And now it's still easy to easy to disengage and doesn't rattle. Yeah, that's just other stuff in the plate rattling, but yeah, that's the only thing. So yeah, they're fairly it's fairly easy to fix. Just bend that bar to whatever tension you want. Bend it down, you know, it's coming in kind of like a, a U shape. So bend it down slightly and um, reassemble it and try it. I had the I took the uh, knife apart with it in the open position. Um, so you just got to be careful when you're doing that. But it didn't check it with the closed position. That's why when it was so loose, get over here and not, try not to lose a finger in this. When it was so loose. It wasn't pushing up on this lock, so it would rattle. This thing would actually rattle. I'm like, what the hell? I fixed it, but it's rattling. So anyways, there you go. You can uh, get it too loose, and it'll rattle. If you get to that point, all you got to do is just bend the piece of metal back up a little bit. There you go. I hope you found that interesting. And, uh, yeah, don't let, the, don't let the triad lock beat you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.